Hey guys, now my question is create a simple calculator in C. Here we have these four operators plus minus and this multiply and divide. Now we can use if else statement and also switch case. Firstly, we are going to do this with if statement and then we are going to do that with switch statement. Let's go ahead and open IDE. Here we have Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want. And then you have to create your file. I will say calculator.c here. Here I have a file I think already. I will just say calculator example.c. This is fine. Now here. Firstly, we have to say hash include I will close this to make the screen fresh, right? Okay. And also terminal, I will close that. Then angle bracket starting stdio dot h then we have to say int main parentheses and braces inside braces we have to say return zero okay now we have to show something to user let's say welcome to the calculator that's fine and then backslash n this backslash n means we are going to make a new line to the terminal then we are going to ask input from user firstly we need to ask the operator please let us know what is the operator of your calculation and then I will ask this uh, caption mark and then I will add uh, another line by using backslash n then the semicolon let's go ahead and create a variable for store this uh, you know operator then we can use char let's say operator and you know always char is just a symbol like this divide or plus or multiply star this is star otherwise minus always we can use char for that here to read a char from the keyboard we don't have to specially use a scanner to read a single character we can use the function called get char it will read input from the keyboard and store that variable store that in this variable operator all right now we need to ask inputs let's say printf and then semicolon inside para double quotations i will say please input number one there are no any instructions for the caption i can do this as i want please input number one and here user can input floating point numbers so we can use float variable data type and variable name let's say as num1 and then semicolon now i can use scanf function double quotations inside double quotations have percentage symbol and then f all right and then comma now we have to specially say ampersand and then variable name we, the reason because we are using ampersand is we have to say where is that variable is stored in the memory now we have to say user to input the second number please input number two here i think we have to add 
new line otherwise user have to include that value in the same line of this uh, letters here also backslash n okay again also short num2 semicolon scanf will help us to get uh, input from the keyboard inside double quotations percentage symbol and then f here we can separate by comma and then ampersand num2 same color all right here we have two inputs now we have to perform the calculation to perform the calculation firstly let's use if statement in here inside of parentheses we can say operator is equals to in the single quotation so right in the single quotations we always have to check the character if we put double quotations we will end up with the error in the single quotation we have to put the operator or character here firstly let's put plus here okay let's add uh, the operation here here int sum is equals to num1 plus num2 all right now here actually num1 is a float then i had to replace this with float that's my mistake and here i can display the output to display the output let's go ahead and say printf and then here we have to say percentage symbol f and then we have to comma to separate the arguments then sum here which is the variable we don't have to specially say ampersand symbol here because we are going to display the value only we are not going to write a value to that variable now there's a thing we are going to display a float number here but if there are only numbers like this but it will show something like this zero more zeros okay let me go ahead and show you what will happen i will run this in the terminal terminal new terminal i will open like that and here we have to make sure we are in the current path of this file in the terminal pwd you can check the path all right here we have to say gcc and then file name calculator example dot c and then hyphen o then executable file name as you want i can say calculator here number okay there's an error uh -huh. sum2 not that's num2 let's compile again hi here i had removed this sum that's not a code i was added that to show you what will happen here now to run this here you will see this executable file calculator is created to run that remember always you have to use dot forward slash otherwise you will end up with the error because we have to especially say we are going to access the current path and then the executable file which is calculator you have to use whatever file name that you use it whatever executable file name okay pl please tell us the operator i will put plus symbol here now input number one i will say 100 and 150 now you will see more zeros actually such useless display how we can limit that how we can limit that uh, into only two decimal places like this only two decimal places 
we can do that after this percentage symbol and before this f letter we can say 0.2 this is the place that you can change the decimal places if you want more zeros like 3 decimal places you can change this to 3 I mean choose 2 now here I had to compile this to see changes and run again I will say plus here and then number 1 as 100 number 2 as 150 you can see it has been limited to two decimal places after the point okay now we can do the similar things for other operators too how we can add next statement for that we can use else if in the parenthesis we can do the similar thing we are checking operator is equals to now in this case we can use minus now at braces we can do, copy this and paste that here and I will say minus instead of plus also I will just do the multiply thing here by star symbol and then removing the minus symbol with the star symbol like this all right here I will uh, copy this and paste that here to do divide option I can replace this star with divide all right now I can compile that and run again now I will try to say operate as minus number one as hundred number two as ninety and I will present it now we can see the result now let's go ahead and try the multiply option at the star here I will say 10 by 2 here we got the result as 20 now the final one I will choose the operate as divide here we are using actually forward slash as the divide operator now number one is 100 and I want to divide it by 10 I will receive this 10.00 okay that is the result now uh, this is how to do that using if we statement now let's go ahead and use switch statement and stop using this if we statement I'm going to just comment this out here I can say switch now parenthesis now I have to say this variable name which is the operator this is the variable now braces firstly we have to add default case we can break that remember keep some indentation otherwise in later I will show you how to fix the indentation especially in this Visual Studio code let's go for first case which is the plus we can say case and then single quotations in the single quotation we have to write that character which is plus now we have to put colon now here we have to do the calculation but avoid creating new variables instead you can go to above and create that variable that you want I can say float sum or final result like that then here we can assess that variable but keep in mind you have to uh, have some indentation final result is a equals to num1 plus num2 and then we can go to case 2 case 2 is just a uh, minus and we can add a uh, colon here then we can do final result is equals to num minus num1 minus num2 
remember you always have to put break in each and every cases otherwise uh, if this executed then it will try to see these it will never end and remember you have to use break keyword in the next one we can say case and then here I will do multiple multiplication and then this colon we can do final result is equals to num1 is multiplying with num2 all right and the break keyword case last one which is dividing and then colon here I will say final result is equals to num1 divide by using this uh, forward slash okay num2 and again break keyword now if user entered a uh, wrong operator it will end the code using this break keyword okay now uh, we can run this open the terminal again we have to execute the code this one for compiling and then we can call for that executable file name now operator of first calculation let's say as multiplication star symbol then the first number as 10 the last number as 2 ah, we are not uh, showing any result here we can see any result we have to see show that printf and then percentage symbol and then f we have to separate by comma now final result can be shown here okay as I told earlier we can see uh, big zeros let me go ahead and show you let uh, do the multiplication with the star and 10 100 like that okay we can see more zeros how we can limit that to limit that after that percentage symbol we have to add zero point and then how many decimal places you need here in my case I need uh, two decimal places after the point now I can run this out I need to do multiplication again and then number one as hundred and uh, number two as ten now I can receive this thousand here all oh, right also in the else if statement I forgot to tell you you can add else statement to see whether you have entered the wrong symbol all right you can uh, show some error there okay